Hi, and welcome to Learnist. In this video, I'll walk you through with our website builder. Learnist comes with a very easy and simple website builder. Your website will be up and running within minutes. So let me walk you through with the website. As soon as you'll open up the website tab, it comes up with the site builder and profile builder. In the profile builder, you can find out the information about Facebook login, Google login, and all the information that you might want to ask from your learner when it signs up. This is all detailed information that you can fill up later on. Let's move on to the site builder. As soon as you click on the site builder, learn a site builder will load up with a template already being given to you. It's so easy to edit this template and all the information can be put up easily. Let me walk you through with the steps here. On the left hand side, you can see the save button, a very important button before you move on and do anything here. Let's click on the preview button. This preview button will give you an idea how your website will look like once you're done and completed with the editing. Let's go to the back here. Now also, your website will not be live until and unless you hit the publish button. The save is for your draft save and will all the changes that you have made will be shown to the user once you hit the publish button only. Let's click on the more setting here. Now this is a very detailed section. You can choose a variety of options of theme available. You can also choose for the navigation bar theme, a footer note here, how your footer should look like and all these information. You can also click on to the settings and can find few good information here, like your title, your description, your favicons, your logo, and your social banner. Social banner are important when you'll be sharing your website on Facebook or maybe Twitter. These images from here will be shown there. You can also add up your live chat, your third party integration of your live chat support. Maybe you want to add analytics or maybe you want to run ads on Facebook or Google. All of these things can be done here. Let's click on the done for now. Let's go back here and let me walk you through with the sections that are available here. Learnist platform comes up with a variety of sections that you can add up. You can always edit any of the section just by clicking on it and it will give you a simple WYSIWYG editor. You can just select the text, can edit it, can write it and there are a variety of options. Maybe you want to add a link, maybe you want to change the text color or maybe alignment. You can do all of them here. Maybe you didn't like this blue background. You can click on the background here and can change it here. You might want to add a background that is a little bit different. So click on the replace here, add up your own images or select an image from our image library. Maybe you like this guy. You can just select this and can just say select. Again, you can just skip cropping or maybe you want to save a crop. I'm gonna say skip cropping for now. And that's it, it's done, it's that simple. You can add up your logo here, just click on here and we want to add a logo here. In this case, I'm gonna drag and drop our own logo here. So select that and again, skip cropping and that's it. This is how simple your logo is. You might want to add a navigation bar or URL here and click on the save here. Now make sure whenever you do any kind of changes, you do hit the save button, otherwise no changes will be saved. I'm gonna hit the cancel because I'm not ready yet to publish the things. Let's click on the background again and maybe we want to change the replace background here. So let's choose an image from library Again, maybe I'll go for this one, select, and I'm gonna say skip cropping here, and there we go. I'm gonna hit a save here so that my changes are persistent. And I can understand this doesn't really look good. So we have a variety of smart options where you can highlight your text, can dim down your image, or maybe you want to choose a better image than this. All of the sections are mentioned at the left hand side. So you might want to scroll and check out all of these sections. If you want to add any more section here, just click on the add new section and have a look at the variety of great detailed landing page section that we have in our site builder. I want to add a section where the videos are here. So let's just click on this large header and automatically it just drops down at the bottom. You can just select this and make sure this crosshair logo it comes up and you can just drag and drop it at the top. And there we go. All you have to do is click on the edit button and just make sure you hit the replace here and you can add your own URL from YouTube, Vimeo or Darkast and your video will be automatically replaced here. All of these taglines and text can be edited quickly with our WYSIWYG editor. Just make sure you hit the save button here as well as here before you proceed anything else. There is one more interesting thing with our editor. When you see this top navigation bar, you can see there is a mobile app section or features section and there is courses section. Maybe you don't want to call your courses section as courses. So what you can do is go up here into the courses section or maybe simple feature URL. Maybe you don't want that to be appear in the navigation bar. You can just say hide in the nav bar and it will automatically go up from the nav bar or you can just say show in the nav bar and it will appear in the nav bar. So there we go, courses and let's just hide this and then it's no more. 
you can just select any of one of them and can hit rename to make sure that it is renamed. I'm going to rename our testimonial as something else, something like word gift. Now I want this one to appear in the navigation bar. So I'm going to say show in nav bar. And that's it. Now the word gift says appear in the navigation bar. So whatever the feature you want to appear in the navigation bar, you can just select them and can say show in the nav bar. You can always rename them to make sure that they appear as you like in the navigation bar. That's it. All section in our site builder is completely editable and customizable according to your need. You can change the background, all the images and all the text available on this site builder. If you want to add more, just hit on the add new section and add whatever you like. Just have a look. They are very detailed and can serve all the requirements that you are having in mind. Let's also walk you through with one more interesting thing here. Let's close this new section here. And as we go at the bottom, you see that there is a number counting up and it's increasing. Just a quick hint about the statistic counter here. Whenever you are editing the statistic counter, make sure you only put the numbers here to make sure that the animation that we have applied is working. If you're going to put any comma or alphabets here, the animation will not work. So make sure you do take care of that. Let's hit the save for now and just go back. Whenever you feel that some sections are not good for you, you can always hit the cross icon and can remove that section. This section will be deleted and just clicking on that, now that section is gone. Maybe you don't want to have an about us section. Just click on the delete section and it will be gone. Also in the bottom section, all the things like blog, your logo, contact us information, here the address information and social links are completely editable. So make sure you take advantage of that. Once you're completely ready and happy with whatever edit you have made, you can always hit the save button and then can say publish the website. Now your website is live. If you want to check how your website looks like, you can always check onto the preview button. And this is how our website looks like within a few seconds of edit. Now let's go back onto the dashboard. So this is the simple step that you can start with building your website. Now coming back onto the profile builder. Here you can enable Facebook login or Google sign up here as well. For enabling the Facebook sign up, you can just click on the enable and can provide Facebook app ID or Facebook app secret. Our team members are always here to help you in assisting for the Facebook and Google login if you want to enable them. So don't hesitate to hit this small button at the right hand side corner and drop us a hello there. We are really happy to help you. That's it and I'll catch you up in the next one.